<laughs> Look at all this stuff we got, guys. Ooh, yeah. Do you like tomatoes? That's a pretty tomato. I think Sagriva is still mostly going for the guacamole. Oh, so I'm with him. I love the guacamole. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We got Landon here helping us out today. Oh. And look at the amazing gifts he brought us. He brought us turmeric and ginger. We got apples, uh, carrots, and even fresh black pepper. So this is all gonna get uh, put together and juiced. Um, everyone here drinks it. Oh, look, I'm glad I want some. <laughs> so I guess you just throw it all in here. And This good stuff here, guys. We have ground up all of the turmeric, or juiced it rather. What is in here? Turmeric, apples, carrots, and carrots, and ginger, and ginger. Yeah. So it's all ready to go. Sarah washed it all. Now we're gonna do a little taste test. This Ooh, is that's most a of lot, it. but it has it has the carrot and the apple in it, so it shouldn't be so intense. It if it didn't strong. have that, we'd probably have to water it down. Cheers. Ready? Taste test. Mm. That's really good. It tastes really healthy. Here, you want to try it? Oh, 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 oh. You want to try it? Ooh, that's pretty oh, good. that's good yeah. stuff. I think, yeah. I think I like that stuff. <laughs> All of this stuff has really good for you um, properties, I guess you want to call it. Anti-inflammatory. Um, ginger really helps settle your stomach. I love all this stuff. Yeah, you want some more? I'm gonna like some juice. <laughs> But guys, today's video is not about making turmeric juice. It's actually about making some chimpanzee nachos. So right over here, Moksha and I have set up all the ingredients, but we're still missing a couple things. We've got beans, we've got tomatoes, we've got salsa, we've got all the good stuff. And God is checking it out there. Now what we're gonna do today, guys, is get all four big chimpanzee boys and girl out and we're gonna have a huge nacho table for them. We still are missing some ingredients, so I'm gonna need to run to the store and grab those missing things. All right, so we have everything. The store actually didn't allow us to film in there for some reason, I don't know why, but we didn't want to cause any problems, so we just loaded up the cart. You can see we have a full cart here. We're gonna load this car up and head back to the preserve. All right, guys, so we are back, and Moksha is here behind me. She is waiting for us to get back with all the ingredients to start cleaning this table that she set up. Now, this is where we're going to be doing the nachos yeah, spread yeah, across. Yeah. What do you got here, Moksha? Um, so I have my special cleaner. I've actually got a lot of requests for the recipe. I did a video. I will link that video so that you can check out this awesome recipe that cleans everything, and it's delicious. So basically, Moksha is going to be wiping down this tablecloth picnic area so that way it is all clean and the nachos can be laid out. We're gonna stack a mound of nachos here, have the chimps around it, and hopefully it all goes well. We're just gonna have to see what happens. I think Angad is very excited. Angad, are you excited? <laughs> Grabbing the camera, you're not supposed to grab the camera. We're gonna keep cleaning and get those chimps. So we're done cleaning the table and we don't want any of this to go to waste. This is the fiber, the stuff that's left over after we juiced all of that turmeric and ginger. It's still absolutely amazing. So we're gonna feed this to the tortoises. Are you ready? You like tortoises, huh? You wanna go feed the tortoises? <gasps> this is Smedley over here and he saw us coming. He already stood up. He's already excited. He says, what do you got for me today? I got some of this and some of that down at the very bottom. I think we had some extra carrots. Yeah. What else do we got? So Smedley is like over 80 years old. Um, we kind of inherited him from a friend and he's just living his best life down here in Miami. Just a happy little dude. You wanna go see him, Angela? You wanna go see him? He said, I'm gonna go play with Landon instead. Good boy. 
Golly. What do you think about that tortoise? I don't know about that. I got important business to do attend to. Don't do it over there. Goodbye. <laughs> Look at him. He's absolutely loving this. Um, so we're gonna finish feeding all of this to the rest of the tortoises and then we're gonna set up the nacho table. <laughs> Look at all this stuff we got guys. This is gonna be the best nachos ever. So we got all the stuff here. We're gonna start with the chips as the baseline and then we're just gonna pile everything on it and see what they think. So we're gonna start with these kind of traditional looking chips as the center. Yeah. So the chimps wouldn't necessarily like pick up a chip and dip it. So we're gonna just lay it all out and they can just like kind of grab and growl and do whatever they wanna do. And uh, I think that's the best option for, you know, feeding it to chimps. So that's the centerpiece. And then we bought some kind of colorful chips to go around the outside. Just to uh, make it like prettier, I guess. What is that? Yeah. <laughs> Comment down below. Do you think the chimps are going to eat that? That's a big hunk of it. <laughs> All right, so we're almost done with the base here. And for me, one of the funnest things is to watch how they react to the different flavors, right? So each one of these chips is actually a slightly different flavor. Um, this is just a regular blue, but look at this one. This one has a little spice on it. <laughs> Comment down below which one of them is going to eat the spicy chip. So this is four heads of romaine. I chopped it pretty thin. I think it tastes better that way. And you know what? Sagriva absolutely loves romaine. So I think he's gonna end up eating some of this. The next step is salsa. Ooh, yeah. We got our lettuce, we got our salsa, the next step is sour cream. Wait, what? That's not sour cream. No, I don't use sour cream. I can't taste the difference, honestly. This is just as creamy and actually has health benefits. Google it. Okay, so I don't know about you guys. Do you open your can this way? Um, I do because I have nightmares about being cut by cans my whole childhood. So if you just turn it sideways. <laughs> So then it actually just pops off like that and no more nightmares. <laughs> These guys are uh, about four years old and they absolutely love all of this stuff too. You're such good kids, huh? Yeah. Mm. Want a chip? No. What do you want? You want an olive? Tapas, you want an olive? Maybe. Okay, yeah. That's some pretty good stuff. I love the way they eat. They always throw their head back. Um, which I believe is because they live way up in the treetops, right? It's very rare for them to come down to the ground. So they put that food in there, throw their head back, and then luckily they don't lose too much of it that way, I think. <laughs> Do you like tomatoes? That's a pretty tomato. Oh <laughs> God, don't be a bully. <laughs> One of my favorite things about Gibbons is every morning and every night they sing a duet to each other. It starts kind of low, whoop, 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 and then it's like the highest pitch thing you've ever heard, and then together they go, ah. <laughs> I got guacamole. You want it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Some good fats. Yeah, it's nice and healthy. <laughs> this is Mala Mala. This is Shangala. These are my 20 year old babies. That's right. I've been living here for 20 years. When these guys were born, they were the size of my cell phone. Look how big they are now. We both uh, got a little bit older, both put on a little bit more weight, but these are good babies. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got the big boys. What do you guys think? Yeah, dig it. Yeah, they grow. I like the guacamole. Mm. What do you think, Tom? You seem like your big brother. There's <laughs> <laughs> mouthfuls of guacamole. Huh? Baby, yeah. You come over here, I'll intervene between the baby mm. and the big man. 
What do you think? Is it good? Yum, yum. So this is... <laughs> My mouth is full. <laughs> So this is great enrichment for all of the chimpanzees, just like it would be for your kids, right? New sights, sounds, and smells. This is the greatest gift you can give them. Just come up with amazing and exciting new things for them to do. Just makes them happier, healthier adults. Oh yeah, it's delicious. I think Sagriva is still mostly going for the guacamole. Oh, he's so I'm with funny. him. I love the guacamole. <laughs> Um. I want the guacamole. <laughs> Got a lot of lettuce too. <laughs> Shrimp, would you like any of that? No. Any of that? No. Would you like that? Oh, you want that? Do you know anyone who eats like Sagriva? <laughs> if you do, comment down below. Tag them. Tell them to come watch this. <laughs> so these guys are just going to keep eating until they're full. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, like it, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And remember, stay wild. Say goodbye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.